गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर सी चौहान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर फोर्थ एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर फोर्थ वी आर डिस्कसिंग माइक्रोवेव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स यूनिट सेकेंड एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज पैरामेट्रिक एम्पलीफायर एज पर द क्लियर फ्राम इट्स नेम इट इज रिलेटेड विद द पैरामीटर वट मीन्स ऑफ द पैरामीटर which type of the parameters you used for this amplifier so here we start the definition of the parametric amplifier what is it a parametric amplifier is an amplifier utilizing a non linear reactance a reactance mostly we know very well that is for the capacity we are using the xc equal to 1 by omega c and inductance uh, that is 1 by sorry for the inductive reactance xl equal to the omega l so what means of this one this is the uh, used for the non linear devices where the ohm's law is not valid we is not directly proportional to look to the current where this amplifier is used and it is called the parametric amplifier and the second or the alternate definition for the parametric amplifier is that a time varying reactance for its amplification what means of that means here the signal will be changes due to the change in the reactance because it is related with the frequency so there will be the amplifications so time varying reactance for its amplification is called the parametric amplifier x is the function of the time varying suitable pump signal unlike the resistance which is the normal amplifier because in the normal amplifier we are using the resistance but here we are using the reactance this we can use the l or the c inductor or the capacitor so the time variation for a reactance parameter can be used to produce amplifications in fact all parametric devices basically depends on the possibility of the increasing the energy of the signal at one frequency by supplying energy at the some other frequency also what means of this means if you use a device which is amplifying a particular signal if the input signal input methods by anywhere to changes with respect to the time or the you can say Uh, that signal is the alternate signal or any form of the signals then the, the amplification will be also changes according that one and this type of the amplifier is called the parametric amplifier like the example if we are using a tank circuit simple tank circuit that is the lnc whose the resistance is very small are connected and this is just like the the tank circuit so let us suppose that at t equal to 0 the circuit has been energized so the v in charge q is at the time equal to v equal to q by c means we given any jerk or any energy to this tank circuit at the t equal to 0 so at the t equal to 0 this is the very simple v equal to q by c and we know very well that c equal to epsilon not epsilon r a by d so finally we can write the potential difference between the plates is the q d divided by epsilon 0 epsilon r a to obtain the amplifications the capacitor plates are pulled apart let us suppose the capacitor plates positive and negative are the move apart then the q and v are kept at the maxima because the electric field between the plates is required to expand their of the energy making energy to separate the plates because if you want to move the plates we want to separate the plates by a particular distance so d is we can increase this one so this increased energy to uh, change the position of the plates this extra energy supplied to this one is stored in form of the energy and this energy will be in the the amplification form so in the above formula equation first if the d changes the potential v is also changes this is a simple way the figure is given here the the first figure is so that the distance between the two plates is small if we increase the uh, distance between these two then some energy is uh, mechanical work is done and this mechanical energy is stored in form of the 
other form of the energy, in form of the electrical, in form of the another form. So this making energy appear and as additional electrical energy store in the sea, so it is changes the voltage. So Q is constant and on increasing the D, V is also increases, hence the energy is also increases. So the V and Q continue the oscillations with respect to the zero state at V equal to zero, that is the uh, zero states. But if we, uh, that the position is changes, then the plates will be the change their position. There will be the maxima, minima, just like the plates oscillator is there. This one is early in the mechanics. We can say there is the a simple pendulum, just like that is moving the to and fro. Similarly, in this way, if the plates are moving to and fro, then we can say the signal is produced. So the plates are the, at the maxima and minima. It changes the potential maxima and minima. Hence, the signal build up. So this is very just way. If the distance between the plates is changes by the any tricks, then we say the D changes, V changes. So we can say the, the signal is also changes because the potential is changes in between the potential maximum and minimum. Here we have plot the graph just like the Q, the potential charge on this one. So this is the positive and negative just like that. And the potential arrived this one is also changes in the irregular manners. Maybe the sine wave, but it is in the distorted form because here the frequency, the signal application changes the supplied voltage. If we given the high voltage, maxima, minima, this is depend on the input signal also. So the potential difference uh, that appears in between the plates of the capacitors, this is changes with the time. So these are the basic idea of the parametric amplifier. Now the example for this one is the p-n junction diodes. We uh, study in the earlier UG classes, the p-n junction diodes are mostly used in the two forms. The densities vary according to the two forms. Number one, the abrupt change and second one is that is the linear gradient. If the linear gradient means the densities vary from the positive to negative or the negative to positive regularly in the regular manner or the linearly. Abrupt change that is the just the this is the potential density changes density of the impurity or the dopant it changes abruptly. So there are the two types of this one. According to that one earlier we have also calculated the capacitance changes. Similarly here we have also used this is P injection diode as a parametric amplifier. So the diodes used for the parametric amplifier consist of the junction of the N and the P type semiconductor materials. N type when the impurity of the fifth group is added, it supplies the excess electrons, valence electrons, it is called the donor and simply that is a simple way. P type that is the vacancy produced are there, the holes are produced and the charge carried by the acceptor. So now the first case is linearly graded P N junction. In this type of the P N junction, the N type material changes visually and the linear passion over a the P type material distance D means and this is the graph just like that. We can see the density N A minus N D N A the number of the molecules per unit volume of the acceptor and the N D for the donor. So this is the P to N. This is changes like this one. This is the density of this one. So N A the number of density and the ND for the donor and the second is the rho that is in between the junctions plus minus d by 2 which is linearly graded linearly changes and the third one is the you can see the remaining charge is there in the p side there is a negative and the on the n side that is the holes are or you can see positive ends are there so for the we can see in terms of the density we can say n a minus n d equal to the kx, k is any constant by the method of the diffusion electrons will be diffused from N2 because high concentration to low concentration and this um, potential gradient or you can see the current uh, number density number gradient will be responsible for to produce uh, the force from N to P. So hall will be diffused from P to N due to this the remaining stable ions are either at the sides provides an electric field. This electric field provides the force which is equal and opposite to the force due to the conduction gradient. So we see uh, the reverse bias voltage is produced at the junction that is the VD. This setup a 
is represented by the Poisson equations as earlier in the UG classes. We have also calculated here the d2 phi by dx square phi is the potential and the sigma is the surface charge density that is charge squared area by the epsilon and this is we have write the q into the x epsilon q is we have considered any constant so the sigma equal to q into the x so on integrating second we can obtain d phi by dx equal to minus q x square by the twice epsilon plus the c1 c1 is constant of integration to calculate this one we are using the boundary conditions at x equal to plus minus d by 2 this uh, potential gradient d phi by dx is 0 so using substituting these values we can obtain c1 equal to q d square by the at epsilon so here we can substitute in equation second d phi by dx equal to minus q x square by twice epsilon plus q d square by eight epsilon this gives potential gradient and the finally if you want to get calculate the potential between the plates and phi equal to minus q x q 6 epsilon plus q d square x by the at epsilon plus c2 and to calculate this constant term detection again we use boundary condition it x equal to 0 phi equal to 0 so the c2 equal to 0 so the phi equal to minus q x by the twice epsilon multiplied by the square by the 3 minus d square by the 4 now if the potential difference between the two plates is phi a b phi a minus phi b and here we are using this depletion layer that is in between the plus minus d by 2 so this is phi d by 2 minus phi minus d by 2 substitute the values of and that x equal to plus d by 2 and x equal to minus d by 2 we finally obtain this is potential difference between the two junctions is 1 by 12 q d cube by the epsilon under the equilibrium condition this potential difference must be equal to the contact potential plus the negative applied potential because here we applied the negative potential minus and uh, that uh, we have the contact potential between these two this phi c so phi c minus the v equal to the q d q by 12 epsilon so the total stored charge in the area uh, is earlier we have calculated this is the area of this triangle so 1 by 2 divide 2 into rho maximum and this is equal to we have right rho equal to sigma x so this is 1 by 2 divide 2 q into d by 2 so this is q d square by 8 and then finally we can write the charge strain for the inside q equal to q by 8 12 epsilon phi c minus v by the q or 2 by 3 so the c equal to d q by d of the phi c minus v this is the net potential difference between these two and this gives epsilon multiplied by the q 12 epsilon phi c minus v power 1 by 3 so um, this so the c is the non-linear since it is the depends on the applied potential v if the c is the linear then we cycle at q equal to cv but here it is not changes so it is linearly graded so c is inversely proportional of the 1 by phi c minus v power 1 by 3 so finally we can see that the capacitance of this capacitor this type of the capacitor is changes with the applied potential hence the capacitance is changes so it changes the signal that is energy stored in this one so the this is behave just like the source of the amplifications so if you applied any potential the time varying potential on this type of the plates capacitor plates and this will be responsible to produce the signals that's why it is called parametric amplifier so this is the first case used for the p-n junction diode when the density changes linearly with respect to the distance so this is sufficient for today thank you thank you very much